Hola, my amigos. It's Tommy here at Robland. Today I'm going to make a delicious Mexican uh, recipe for you. This is the El Gringo soup. Really, really tasty. I know you're going to love it. All right, let's get started. So I'm using the Vitamix Pro Series 750. I'm going to put in two cups of filtered water. All my measurements are down the side here. Beautiful. I'm going to put in some whole foods. I'm going to put in a whole carrot. Don't have to worry about peeling it. Throw it in. I'm going to put in a stick of celery. Uh, with an ordinary blender, these strings get wrapped around the blade. Not a hassle for Vitamix. It'll smash those straight up. I've got a little bit of spring onion. Notice I use the root as well. No, filled with nutrition. I've got a little bit of tomato here. I'm going to put in half a tomato. In it goes. I've got some uh, red capsicum. Notice I use the green part, all the seeds, the most nutritious parts. Parts we usually throw away. A little bit of uh, zucchini or courgette, depending on where you're from. And I'm going to use the end part as well, the most nutritious part. All these bits, if we were to chew on them, you know, wouldn't taste very good. Put them in here. We're not going to notice they're in there at all. A little bit of zucchini. I've got some nice raw cabbage here. Really good cancer fighter. Throw that in. One little button mushroom. In it goes. Got some celery leaf there. That's optional. We'll throw that in as well. And some nice fresh garlic. Skin and all. I don't have to bother peeling it. You can see the time we're saving in the kitchen. And I'm going to put in a little bit of lime. Those nice Mexican flavors. Leave the peel on there too and some chili. I'm using the stem here as well. I don't have to bother you know, taking that off. And this is a red hot chili, uh, bird's eye chili. So I've left the seeds in here too. Be amazed how powerful that little bit of flavor is. That looks pretty good. Now I've got some seasonings here. I'm gonna put in a vegetarian stock cube. I'm using a, a Massel vegetarian stock cube, animal free, uh, MSG free, preservative free. I've got one, uh, one teaspoon of taco seasoning here, so any sort of taco seasoning you like. And I've got one, uh, oh, it's actually about, I don't know, a quarter of a teaspoon, just a dash of uh, cumin powder. So we'll throw that in too. A little bit of uh, salt and pepper, I've got some nice cracked pepper here. Be as generous as you like, it's up to you. That's pretty good. And I'm also going to use a pinch of Himalayan rock salt. Beautiful. All right. So all those little Mexican flavors in there. I'm going to lock my lid into place. I'm going to start that on my soup setting, which is uh, at number three here. And I just have to turn it on. It's going to run for about five minutes. And that friction heat coming off the blade, it's actually going to cook our soup for us. So I don't have to put it on the stove at all. All right, away we go. So I don't have to worry about turning the Vitamix off. It's automatically going to shut off. So while that's been blending, I've just uh, vacuumed the floors, I've hung out the washing, done a few uh, chores around the house. So that's just the friction in there that's cooked that, okay? So uh, really, really quick, those blades are spinning. It's going to create friction heat. So there's no heating element. So check out the steam. It's going to come off the lid here as I open it up. Pretty cool, yeah? Pretty amazing. So it's just raw veggies. About five minutes, I've made a nutritious El Gringo Mexican soup. It's that, that simple. So I'm going to uh, make it a chunky style soup. What I'm going to do, I've got some fresh olives here. Some uh, beautiful olives. You can put some uh, sweet corn in here. Any sort of flavors you like. Even some, uh, some corn chips I can put in here. And I'm just going to chop that through on a slow speed. So I've got variable control here, and I'll just start that on a slow speed. Just to add a little bit of texture. So you could even put some cooked chicken in there if you wanted to. That's it, it's done. It's that, that simple. We'll serve you up some of that. I'm gonna garnish that. I've got some hot chili here. I've got a little bit of spring onion, some corn chips. It's gonna taste delicious. Let's just try some straight out of the container. El Gringo! El Gringo soup! <laughs> Enjoy guys, happy blending! <laughs> Today I'm going to make you a blueberry coconut smoothie in the new Vitamix Professional 750. 
This has to be my new favorite recipe. Uh, I make it.